G'day everyone, welcome to this week's Life on the Hulls 2024. Can you believe I'm still building this boat in 2024? Now something happens when you get to this stage of a project and that is that you get very bogged down in very minor details. Today alone I've spent over three hours sitting in the hull extension wrestling with a 75mm exhaust hose trying to get it to go where I want it to go. That led me to the most frustrating afternoon I've had for a long time. I've just been to the beach for a swim. I'll tell you now, I feel like a million dollars. I don't know why I don't do it every single day. This week, we're gonna be dealing with the welding. Finally, we're getting to some nice stainless and, uh, and a good mate of mine is coming down to help me consolidate a lot of the welding. I'll be doing all the fabricating of all the stainless and he will be then doing the TIG welding for me, and then it'll be my job to polish it out at the end. So look forward to that. There's plenty of, uh, plenty of that coming up. And also I'll be dealing with the bow modification. So, so important that you see the way that I've addressed this. And it's interesting where you take your inspiration from. When you do a modification like that, I tend to spend a lot of time researching. I could have gone with reverse bows. I could have gone with big bulbs sticking off the front of the boat. I've actually chosen to go for a fared in bulb that is a little bit more discreet than a big bulbous bow, but it will solve the buoyancy issues that are a known factor with this particular design. We've been installing the gunnel rails down each side of the boat. They're in, we're finished with the stanchion base modifications. They're all sprayed and fed and even more we've dealt with the actual split on the deck that I made to make it fit the hull around about 18 months ago. So all of that's been resolved and now I'm working on finishing up the bow. So pretty exciting stuff, lots to come, lots to watch and let's get into it. Right, so this is looking pretty good now. We're, um, we're moving there. I'm just gonna position them all, make sure they're all shaped properly. And then I'll be able to come in uh, tomorrow morning just epoxy everything in place. I'll spend the afternoon getting both sides of this one done, glue it in place, uh, potentially tonight. And I'll be able to come in tomorrow and start to work on how I'm gonna do the front bulb there. Right out last night, I've got these ones glued on and I've just removed all of the cleats that I had in place and I've given it a good sand here because this all needs to be filled with foam. That's gonna be a job and a half. That's gonna be a cut around 400 shapes. Not really sure how I'm gonna do that, but uh, we'll work on that. At least it's all glued in and that is now completely solid. I still have to do the outside. I'm gonna start working on the inside over here. I wanna to try to get the insides glued on and then do the outside. I'm hoping to get the front or the inside and the outside of the port side done today. Uh, it's a lot of work just reshaping them, just making sure they're exactly right. And then I've got this continuous line here that we're going to be able to sand the foam down. It's going to be filling that. I was considering filling this with uh, two-pack foam. Uh, the only real option is epoxy foam, to be honest. I'm better off doing what I'm doing and shaping it exactly as I need it rather than shelling it and then just pumping stuff in and I'll end up with buoys. As mentioned, that is going to be totally sacrificial. So if a cops a knock from a dock or a rock or something, uh, the entire underneath of the boat, including a crash bulkhead here, uh, is basically sacrificial and can, in fact, sustain a fair blow. In fact, even the stem will be able to sustain a blow without undermining security of the boat. So that's uh, that's looking pretty good. So, so over here, I've got my port side in shapes here, getting them all right and ready to go. I've got my bandsaw down here. I can basically shape them pretty quickly now without actually to go back and forth to the factory. So this process is basically take the shape that I, it should be okay. And, uh, what I'm finding is it's not exactly right. It's on the line at the bottom of the bottom of the, the jig. And you can see here, because this bottom stem or strong back is actually 20 millimeters thicker than my original uh, template that I made. I need to then shave off around about six or seven millimeters on each of these uprights here to make sure that it all fits perfectly because it is a much thicker um, strong back than I originally started with. And you've got other things like bits of epoxy here that need to be sanded off. That's going to make this not fit correctly. So all that needs to be done prior to doing the shaping. 
and then I've got to check its level. I get a line drawn. I can then go and shape it on the bandsaw, shape this curve on the bandsaw to make sure that that fits, making sure that everything's equal, everything's level, and all things are equal, then we should get a perfect fit here. How weird does it look? It is a bit weird. <laughs> Very weird, but what I do you know think? I know it'll fill out. I know it'll fill out. Yeah, I mean, it's all it's looking there. pretty good. I've started to it's do the outside more, here as well. It's much more streamlined than the original. Yeah, right. yeah, no, it's good. And then that thing goes in here, so it's not like that's yeah. going to just jerk It's actually going to look a lot better than it does now, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting fantastic. to the point where I can glue that on as well. But yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Over this side. Haven't done the outside, the outside of the starboard side here yet, but I'll get to that. All right, that support side done. Complete. Right, oh, last night I put these on, so these are ready to pull off. I'll get my screwdriver and just pull all the cleats off. Don't worry about those holes where the screws are. They're actually going to be filled with tons of epoxy and tons of foam. Well, not tons. We're going to keep it as light as possible. This is all going to be filled with H80 foam and then laminated over the top. So you can sort of get the whole feel for the for the idea that I'm working with here. And uh, what I've got to do this morning, because I've only got a certain amount of cleats and time, I knocked up here about 9 o'clock last night. I'm going to go out and do the other side of this one here. And then uh, the whole thing will be ready to start infilling with the foam. Right, as I'm halfway through gluing on the starboard outer hull shapes. And uh, these are almost done. I've just got a couple more to epoxy on here. Back in late March, we met Paul Kenny, dropped in to see us, aka PK, and he made me an offer to come down and help us with our TIG welding. Four months later, PK's taken a week off work to come and get our stainless welded and greatly moved this project along. It was such a great offer, I could not turn it down, and uh, it was such a great week, and there's a lot of banter to come between Paul and I, and uh, I hope you enjoy the on-site discussions that we have throughout this next week. So what's right. the story? What, what do you think of this? I uh, love it, mate. I want to come down and do some work for you. I want to help you out. I like that. Do some tea <laughs> <and have them. laughs> I love slave labour. I've yeah, got plenty right. of... I use anyone that's free. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. I'm more than happy to pay you for any all slave right, work. All right, yeah, Good okay. on you, mate. Free. All, all right. right. Well, have a great trip home. Good stuff. No See worries. ya. Catch Thanks, ya. Alright, so our rear supports are a major part of the build and will require some serious reinforcement and as a result I have to get down into the engine room and establish the firstly the uh, point of contact with the back of the boat where we're going to actually weld the plate onto the piece of stainless tubing and also how I'm going to mount it onto the back of the wall of the uh, of the stern of the boat. So I'm going to go in here, right up into the back there, and uh, we'll have a look at what we're going to do. All right, this is. Uh, not all that complicated. I've actually got these uprights on a block of wood here up underneath the uh, walkthrough transom. Now with PK's arrival looming, I had to make sure that all was ready to maximise his time with us, which amounted to around three and a half days of solid welding. There's going to be plenty of that coming up. To make sure we can install the large rear supports with the added vertical flange to fix to the lower structure of the boat, a cutout of the lounge was required so that we could slide the flange into place and remove the cutout and be repaired later on, rather than simply bolt the hard top supports to the rear lounge structure, which a lot of boats would do in fact, I've opted for a further attachment point at the main stern compression bulkhead, as well as the back lounge to ensure the structure would be bulletproof, thereby supporting the roof and adding additional strength to the rear chamfer panel, the bridge deck, and which is a common problem with cats and there is a tendency to give in this area. I think we've circumvented this with the additional strength down low in the boat. All right, so I've got to trim these to suit the angle of the roof because there's going to be another further flange up on the roof there holding it in place. So I've described that to the angle. I'll go and cut that downstairs now with the other one.
PK's just arrived, pretty happy. Yeah, set him up in the factory here to do some welding for me. Pretty excited about him coming down. G'day Paul. G'day Ross, how you Good going, to see you mate. Good to yeah, see you I'm showing up to do a bit of a yeah. bit of hard slog for Roscoe. I love it. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Right eh? I'm making an effort. Do what I can. Oh mate. So we're here. I'm not gonna film him well again. I'll give him I'll let him do the first side first. <laughs> but uh yeah, this is looking pretty good. We've got our flanges all ready to go. And uh I think he's ready to go, aren't you mate? In a second. I'm Right, I've got to make a couple of backing shims to fit in between the base and the stern of the boat. Uh, to get it vertical, I want to actually move the whole thing forward slightly towards the bow to get it to sit on top of that lounge suite to make sure that it fits correctly. So what I'm doing is I'm basically going to laminate some of the old mould in, some of that legacy um, fiberglass that I've got laying around and another piece of 20 mil foam in between it that's going to then go into the uh, 40 mil of foam into the back of the boat so ultimately where it's going to be bolting through is around about probably nearly 80 millimeters thick plus the base plate of 10 millimeters of solid stainless 316 um, and then another three millimeter plate on the back I think it's like I'm building the harbour bridge It's my life, but it's my only income for two years. <laughs> for three years. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty bad. It's pretty sad when you get to 40. And you just had no income for three years. Fucking hell, how you doing, mate? <laughs> Ask Janet. <laughs> she's the boss. Go in and look what she's doing. I don't know how she's done. <laughs> I don't understand. Just watch that doesn't fall off. It's a poor little fall there, man. Yeah, that bit of a hole is hot. Oh, she puts up some of shit that oh, no. she's doing. Like your wife puts up the process. <laughs> they're they're going to reap the benefits. Oh, one day. One day. <laughs> one day. We're not saying when. You can't imagine how much I'm hanging for that. Right. Uh, so is this a little oh, bit here? Two silly, silly marks. Yeah, I've got a plastic down here. A new one? I've got a plastic. Yeah, 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 I've got the blue ones are lanternated, aren't they? I've used your one, and I've got the three of mine. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've got more, I think. I think there's another. No, I just thought... Um, are they like 330 seconds? Is that the... Um, 2.5 mil, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's <laughs> much better, right? Take two. <laughs> Repeat that. Is that better? It's much better. Oh, good. It was shit before. <laughs> <laughs> That's all shit. <laughs> it just depends on how much shit we're prepared to put up with. Oh, it needs a bit more. Well, I, I reckon this, yeah, this is a bit here. Well, hang on, hang on. I think it's here. Oh, no, no, you might be right. I've got one here. It's obviously Where, Where's two. it? That one right there, not right this eh? one. Right oh, Where number two is? Just right, yeah, yeah, right on the line. Okay, all right. And then... Oh, maybe even just leave it, but... A tiny bit there. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well that's all good fun. Notice how Paul's not doing the grinding. Well hand me the no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't wanna you don't wanna do this. I'll take you. You one out. He's a good friend. <laughs> He's a good welder. 
<laughs> Doesn't like a grinder, that. Is that three or four? Oh, no. Such a camera. Oh, God. It's just a fraction wall. <laughs> We've moved it. <laughs> yeah, right. That goes close. Oh, it's here. It's back here. Right. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Come on. Yeah, lift it off. It's good to be able to do this, though. The acroprofs are a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to cut this one down here. Yeah, that's nothing. That's, that'll be good. That's just a measure. Yeah. Right. That's straight on. Right. I'm at the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've got to take too much off. <laughs> Can't win. That's what it's got to be, mate. Just, yeah. Just you do it nice and fold that. Yeah. Right. As long as you're happy with the... The, the gap. The margin is getting well. Yeah. Well, I'm only going to take it if you take it down the back again. I'll be yeah, yeah. get a better position. Yeah, yeah. Get four, four tacks on it. Yeah. yeah, well, like that. It's not an issue. Yeah. yeah. Permanent now, mate. Pressure. pressure yeah. YouTube pressure. It's like trying to launch a paraglider and everyone's watching. <laughs> A bit of fun just a minute ago. I think we dropped those poles about 15 times, <laughs> <laughs> 10 foot down to the concrete. So, um, there's a little bit of polishing to do. Scratches. <laughs> Don't ever let me build your boat because uh, it'll do as good enough today. No, that's good. We've got it all strapped together. It's looking pretty ugly, but we've got it ratcheted up. We're just going to tick it in place and then uh, what are you after? Find my wire. Yeah, look at that. So what I've tried to do is match this cross beam with the, the wires coming through the lifelines there. But uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I'm not sure how we're going we to move it out of... Oh, it'll be right. Actually, it'll be right. It'll lift. It. It. Yeah, it'll all... Dad's got me on life insurance until the boat's finished. He's just going to kill it. <laughs> you not sail it. off with a Shirley Valentine there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah, amazing. Oh, it's hard to bend. <laughs> actually, that looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm actually happy with the bend now. It looked a bit looked a bit odd to start with, but now it's got the straps on it, it looks great. Balls tack this all together and um, take it up to a new factory and we'll do it up there. We'll get a good clean environment out of the wind.
Oh, it's all. Oh, Kevin's run. Oh, I got that. You know what we'll do? We'll get some of them bloody gel guns. You and me up. Yeah. We'll just. Oh, I reckon. Just pluck them off. We'll yeah. yeah. You couldn't pick a raider up. This is my best mate over here. He hates Jaden as much as I do. Oh, that's not mine. That's not mine. I'm a good bloke. Look at this. This is going 20,000. We're going to see you on Friday. That's fantastic. Yeah, so keep your clothes on. I said hello. Unlike yesterday. Keep... And uh, aren't you lucky you're not near a boss game here? Because <laughs> yeah. he's a seaman. Oh god, Josh yeah, has come out. Yeah, yeah. Josh! And you know, <laughs> you know, keep going. No! You got eight old seaman? It's a waste of gigabytes. Gigabits. <laughs> Just think boss down, out of a million sperms, you were the quickest. Yep. That's right. As I leave the boys bumping their gums across the road, Paul had finished the welds on the major uprights and the final dry fit took a bit of tweaking to get them aligned. There'll be a lot more of PK's touch to come as we tackle the pulpits, the handrails and some of the extra mods. So thanks for joining in guys and thanks for joining in on the job site. Catch you later, have a great weekend.